when you focus on the breath. You're the one who gets to decide how long it's going to be, how short it's going to be. Heavy, light, shallow, deep, fast or slow. This is one area where you're allowed to indulge in your preferences. Because the whole point of getting the mind to settle down is that you've got to give the mind something that it likes to be with. Something it finds interesting or something it finds comfortable. And John Fuang's image is of eels. You're trying to catch eels. And if you just jump down into the mud and try to grab hold of the eels, they'll run off every which way. So you have to find something that the eels like. And as he said, eels like dead dogs. So you put a dead dog in a big clay jar with open mouth, stick that down in the mud, and the eels come on their own. Now your mind may not like dead dogs, but it does like comfort. It does like a sense of well-being. And there's also part of the mind that likes to be interested in things, trying to figure things out. Well, you can figure out the breath. You can make the breath comfortable. You can stress either one of those things, either the sense of ease or the figuring out part. What's there to figure out? Well, there's the in and out breath, but there are also the breath energies that flow in different parts of the body. How are they related? How do you sense them? How do you take advantage of the fact that there are these different kinds of breaths so they can nourish one another? As you figure that out, you get interested in being right here, watching what's going on, making adjustments here, making adjustments there, see what happens as a result. You don't even have to tell the mind to stay here. It gets interested. It's like giving a child a game that the child finds interesting. You don't have to lock the door to make sure it stays in its room. It'll stay because it's interested in the game. So here the game is how to get the mind to settle down, how to be with the body, be with the whole body as your foundation as you go through the day. When you make it really comfortable and make it really satisfying to stay with the breath, then it's much more inclined to stay here. Even when there are things outside that would normally pull you out, you realize, well, you've got something better here. This all falls in line with the Buddhist observation that for the mind to settle down, it needs to find pleasure in the present moment, one way or another. Either the physical pleasure of the breath or the mental pleasure of trying to figure this out. And that way you're willing to stay. And when you're willing to stay, then the mind changes its habits. Its habits usually are to run around, hop from here, hop to there. And as you're hopping around like that, you miss a lot of things because you're not staying still. When you stay still, you can see a lot of things that you wouldn't have been able to see if you just kept running around. So we do this starting out with a sense of well-being, but we do this for the sake of understanding what's going on. But you have to be really settled here to see subtle things clearly. So find something that you like here in the present moment and hold on. Make it as pleasant as you can. Make it as interesting as you can. And the mind will be happy to settle in.